So in today's video, we are going to compose this Halloween scene inside Unreal Engine 5. This video is going to be a beginner friendly video. Before we start, I would like to give a huge shout out to all the people who support the channel on Patreon. And before you follow along with this video, make sure that you download the startup project. The startup project contains all the assets that are used in this video. So here we are going to start from scratch and let's go to plugins, enable the HDRI backdrop plugin. We are going to use this for our lighting. Next add the HDRI backdrop. And in the cube map, I have my custom cube map. So just select this cube map. Now go to skylight and make sure that the same cube map is selected right here. So this looks pretty good. Now let's take care of the lighting. So let's add a direction light. Let's turn down the intensity of this. This is going to act as the moonlight. Next go to visual effects and add a post process volume. So we are going to do a couple of things right here. The first thing that we are going to do is we are going to turn on infinite extents. Next search for exposure and lock your exposure. So I'm going to use manual exposure. After that, enable the lumen global illumination and reflection options. So this is going to make sure that you're using lumen. Now let's go to shapes and create a ground plane. We are going to apply the ground material to this plane. After that, let's add a sky atmosphere system and add an exponential height fog. Enable the volumetric fog in the exponential height fog. After that, go to visual effects and let's add a local height fog. Here you can change the fog density and the fog color. The ground looks good and the fog and everything looks pretty good. Let's scatter some foliage assets. So before we scatter anything for better visibility, let's turn off the fog. Go to the foliage panel, add your assets right there. So I have some branch assets, some twigs and stuff that we can scatter onto our ground. Make sure that static meshes is enabled and you can give it a random scale range. You can increase the density. So these are all the foliage instance options. Once you've configured these options, you can click to paint foliage using the paint tool. And as you can see, this looks pretty good, especially with the fog enabled. Now let's add the pumpkin itself. So let's add the Jacko lantern. So to create the glow of the Jacko lantern, we are going to add a sphere. Place it inside the lantern and give it a emissive material. So this is a pretty simple material. After that, go to the post process settings and enable bloom. Change the method to convolution. That's going to give you a cinematic bloom.
You can also select the duration light and like change the color of the light itself. Now a scene is coming together so now let's scatter some more assets on the ground. So this is like a root asset. After that I also added some rock assets and placed them in the level. These are Quixel Megascan assets. So we have added a lot of ground detail and this looks pretty good. But now the pumpkin is like pretty clean right? The pumpkin should have like mud and dirt over it right? So I'm going to accomplish this using decals. So I'm going to place some decals onto the pumpkin. This is like a mud stain decal right here. And you can see how easy it is to add some detail using decals. Okay, so the pumpkin looks pretty good. We have some ground detail as well. But now the background looks pretty empty, right? So let's add some trees in the background. Now I want some like light to scatter on the ground right in front of the pumpkin. So I'm going to add a point light and change the color. So environment is like nearly done. I mean in the end you can add some few assets like change the position of these trees and do some final tweaking. But overall this looks pretty good. So I wanted to make a simple environment for Halloween and this is what I came up with. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you like this video, leave a like. If you learned something, consider subscribing. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to see you guys in the next video.